Hi, Paul. Thank you for Hi. joining us. And Good to be here. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about AI and machine learning. And um, could you share with us your view on how machine learning can help a global macro portfolio managers? Yeah, there are many ways in which it can help. Uh, from a global macro perspective, uh, most economists uh, are used to time series data. They look at a lot of cyclical indicators from different countries, different industries. Uh, that usually amounts to quite a bit of data. Uh, and finding heads and tails in that, figuring out what is the signal uh, in all that noise, uh, and being more effective in terms of screening uh, what kind of market regime are we in, uh, what types of volatilities are we going to see across asset classes? Uh, and at which point in, in the cycle is it time to get more cautious about certain asset classes? Um, machine learning can really help you uh, in that regard, processing larger amounts of data than you would otherwise have had time for, um, and, and getting signals that will tell you something about uh, what the, the risks and rewards are in the marketplace. So how could AI could transform the, the financial industry? Well, it has the potential to transform parts of the industry. It's not exactly a revolution at this point, but maybe it's an evolution. Uh, it's starting to permeate the way things are done. Uh, surveys are showing it is still only 10% of quantitative researchers that are using machine learning, so there's room for growth, and I think that number is going to grow rapidly over the next couple of years. Um, and where, of course, there are a number of things in the industry that can change, um, but the monitoring and screening process within uh, quantitative research teams themselves uh, is an obvious place that can be done much more efficiently and it can help portfolio managers and researchers focus their minds on what's really important uh, and, and spot the opportunities and dangers. But also in terms of client analytics, uh, in the way information from clients co is, is processed, we know what, what types of funds do the clients hold, what are they worried about. Um, focusing the client managers, the consultants' time, the financial advisors' time more efficiently, and that will allow them to serve more people. Uh, and, and that could potentially, longer term, talking 5, 10, 15 years, it's something that potentially opens industries like wealth management, private banking, which are currently only open, that kind of advice and service you only get if you're very wealthy. Potentially, you could see a transformation where high quality services are going to be available to a much broader audience. There are lots of households with assets that are not large enough to qualify for a private banking uh, service, but they still could need advice. And, and, and that's something that potentially could change. That's, that that's, that's would be an ideal scenario.